and a one, a two, a one, two. Now I'd like to break down just some of what I did in the solo using this diagram and show you a bit about phrasing. This diagram are the four strings of the ukulele, G, C, E, A, and you see I have an E minor chord laid out right here on the fretboard. The very first idea we used was using the flattened third of the scale moving to the root note. We did this in two ways. First the third fret of the second string to the open second string, and then we did it right here third fret of the second string to the fourth fret of the third string. Now those are the notes and that's the theory behind it, flat third to one, but the music comes in how we use these notes, how we phrase. What is phrasing? Just like when we speak, we speak in rhythm, da 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 da. We speak ba ba in rhythm, da da da. So pay attention to the rhythm of what you're playing and pay attention to how you can punctuate your rhythms with commas, you know, pauses, and full stops, or periods. So you're speaking out of the instrument. Let's take a simple idea of these two notes and see how many different ways you can play it. It's a good idea to, at first, pick a phrase, pick a word. Maybe, I like ukulele. Hear how I like had a little pause, and you can make that pause very dramatic. Having silence as part of your music is a powerful way of bringing your music ideas out. It also makes the rhythm more clear. Another fun game you can use is to play something and then sing it back. So we're working with rhythm using punctuated silences and singing back what we play. When you sing what you play, you get a lot more focused about the choices you're making. It means that you're listening more carefully and it's a lot of fun. Let's move on to some more of this scale. I'm gonna draw a few more notes on the diagram. So I've added the note A, it's the fourth degree of the scale. You can also find it right here as the open A string. But I want you to pay attention to this triangular shape because we use this a lot in this solo. Put your middle finger on the E or the one, first finger on the third fret G, that's the flattened third, and then your ring finger on the four. Notice how I'm leaving the fingers down, not because I'm squeezing with a lot of pressure, but they're just settled. That triangle, very powerful. You can make a lot of phrases. that triangle. Now another thing to use in your bag of tricks is to affect the string, all right, by adding a little vibrato. Vibrato is just bending the string down to the floor and then releasing it. All right. You could also slide into the notes. And it has more of a singing quality. It starts to moan. You can slide from a couple of frets below, or just slide up after a phrase for a dramatic flair. Or down into the note. When you do these, try to play just a few at a time, take a break, and then do it again. This is a lot like the game of shooting darts, right? Try to just bullseye one event, take a break. Instead of doing it a hundred times in a row, you'll end up burning your fingertip. And I don't want you to burn your fingertip. So once again, let's play this game of sing what you play. Bo -da -da. That was going up the triangle. Bo -da -da. Let's go down the triangle. Ba -da -da. Now once you get comfortable, physically comfortable on this triangular shape, start to use the game of phrasing. You don't have to play much to play a great phrase. So have fun exploring this. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible. Let's add one more note and then go a little more into phrasing. The note we're adding is this blue note and this blue diamond is the sharp four or the flattened five. This is an extra cool note 
added to the triangle, you get this sound. So you see, I went up the triangle, back down, now up to that blue note, and back down. So many ways you can play this. You can pick and slide and pull off. All right, you can go up to it. Okay, because that note has a lot of tension, it's a really cool note to hang on for a while and then relieve the tension. Play with it down here off of the fifth, and you have a whole other set of ideas. Now, the joy of improvisation is to set up a steady beat and then just start to play with phrasing. Let's add one more element. Some of our phrases will be starting on the beat and sometimes they'll be off the beat. Let's pretend that this metronome is our drummer friend, okay? You're hearing a click, but here a... Use your imagination to hear a drummer. Begin to tap your feet to it and let's play some simple phrases. I'll start up here on root note number one. A one two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. Bo, do, da, ba, da. Ba, da, do, ba. Da, 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 da. See how I'm playing to the click. Sometimes my phrases begin on the beat, sometimes they begin in between the beats, and I'm always singing back what I'm playing because it's fun to do and it makes your ideas more clear. Now, when you start to put your emotions into it, you have a whole nother range of colors to add. You know, just one or two notes with your mojo can really make the music sing. This is something that's hard to define. You gotta find this yourself. Put your mojo into it. So let's end this video by playing a game of call and response. I'm gonna play for four beats and then leave a space for you to play for four beats. And we'll just go back and forth. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and check the links down below if you wanna join my jazz workshop all about the music of Django Reinhardt. Thank you so much. A one, here's my turn. Two, one, two, three, four. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Ready? One, two, three, four. A one. Now let's play together. Same time. Go. Thank you for joining me for this lesson. Hope you dug it. I hope that you and your family are doing well, and I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Keep on jamming.